There are many stories uh, that my mom was singing Yiddish songs in the concentration camp. That's what they did uh, to uh, support each other as good as uh, it was possible. And when they were liberated, um, she came back the 27th of, um, of May 1945. Uh, my parents found each other back and my aunt and my mom came back to Amsterdam. And uh, she was uh, very sick. But already, I guess in September, you have to prove it, David Schneer, because he has all the papers. <laughs> uh, she gave the first concert and she immediately started to perform. And uh, once a um, um, psychotherapist here in Berlin said, uh, singing kept her alive. Uh, so they performed Yiddish in uh, they immediately I guess in 1946 already they went to their first tour to to Scandinavia. Uh, they came back several times to Scandinavia with the Yiddish songs. They went to Poland uh, to which they went here to Berlin to the to the UNRWA to the DP camp. So they toured through the DP camps, and they were Zamla they collected uh, Yiddish songs. So there are not only this Vilna material, but there are more songs. Uh, as I told you already, my father wrote down. In the beginning, my mom herself wrote them down. Uh, they, they collected a lot of Yiddish material. I did not find in any archive in this world, not in the Yivu in New York, not in the Yivo in Vilna, not in the um, uh, in the library in Kiev, and also not in Jerusalem. So they really saved some material.